Hey guys, welcome to another integration tutorial. Uh, I'm on a bit of a roll today, so this is the third tutorial of today, which is awesome. So the first thing I want to do is uh, remind you guys that you need to have completed the chain rule tutorials for differentiation if you want to continue with integration because uh, this is like one step up from the chain rule uh, differentiation tutorials. So if you try to do this without fully understanding the chain rule, then it's going to be a little bit like trying to run before you know how to walk. So make sure that you have done the differentiation tutorials before you go on to this integration. Okay, so before we start integrating composite functions, I just want to give you guys some simple integration rules uh, that might be useful later on. So the first one is uh, the integral of a coefficient of a uh, times by f of x, so it's just a function, uh, dx, is the same thing as a on the outside of the integral sign uh, so a times by the integral of f of x dx. So you're probably thinking, well, what does that mean? So I'll give you a small example. So for example, if we had the integral of 6x, then you're going to get, uh, you're going to use the rule for integration, so that'll give you 6x squared over 2 plus c, which is 3x squared plus c. Now, what happens if I take this 6 outside of the integral sign? Alright, so how do we do that? Well, let's try this. What is the square root? Well, sorry, not square root. What is the integral of x dx? And that'll give you x squared over 2 plus c. Now what happens if we multiply this whole equation on the left hand side by 6 and this whole equation on the right hand side by 6? Then what's going to happen is we get 6 times the integral of x uh, dx is equal to 6 x squared over 2 plus 6 times c and that will give you the same thing as 3x squared plus since c is a constant 6 times c is also a constant so you can just leave it as a constant and then on the left hand side we end up with 6 times the integral of x dx okay so therefore we have just shown you that uh, the integral of uh, 6x dx is equal to the same thing as 6 times the integral of x dx. Okay, so uh, therefore this is the same as the rule integral of uh, a times f of x dx equals a on the outside times the integral of f of x dx. So hopefully you understand how that rule works after seeing the example. Now another simple integration rule that you guys already know is that the integral of the sum of two functions, so let's say f of x is our first function, plus g of x, which is our second function. So the integral of this whole uh, thing with respect to x uh, is the same thing as the integral of each function uh, separately. So. Um, a example of that happening would just be 
for example, the integral of, uh, let's say, uh, 6x squared plus 3x uh, dx is the same thing as the integral of 6x squared uh, dx plus the integral of 3x uh, dx. Okay, so hopefully if you're up to this lesson, you should already be able to do that uh, quite smoothly without any problems. Okay, so now let's get started with integrating some composite functions. So if you guys remember what a composite function is, basically it's one function within another function. And I'm going to give you guys a simple example of 3x plus 2 in brackets squared dx. Now, if you didn't know how to integrate composite functions, uh, then you would have to expand it and then integrate it separately. But right now, I'm going to teach you guys how to integrate this as a composite function using a technique called by recognition. Okay, so in order to do this, uh, you need to firstly uh, understand how the chain rule works. So I'm going to split the page up into two columns. On the left hand side, I'm going to have integration, which is what we're trying to do. And on the right hand side, I'm going to have differentiation which is the opposite of integration, which is what you guys have learned already last year. So you should know what it means. Uh, so differentiation, if you remember, if we differentiate something like this, y equals, uh, let's say, uh, 3x plus 2 cubed. And we that's a composite function, which we we'll need to differentiate using the chain rule so we get something like y equals uh, 3 bracket sorry y dash or dy over dx is equal to 3 bracket uh, oops dy over dx is equal to 3 bracket 3x three plus 2 squared times 3 and that is equal to uh, 9 uh, times 3x plus 2 squared. So this function y is going to differentiate into this function, which means this function here is the antiderivative of this function. So make sure you understand what we're talking about here before moving back to integration. If you're not sure what this means, uh, watch the chain rule tutorial again. Okay, so back to integration. Now what we want to do is uh, we're going to leave the problem here for a second and we want to go ahead and try to come up with something uh, similar to this that is easier to do. So uh, let me just change to another color. So we already know from our differentiation example that this uh, will integrate, this function will integrate into this. So therefore, using that example, I can write it as the integral of 9 bracket 3x plus 2 squared dx is equal to uh, 3x plus 2 cubed plus c. We've just proven that already, right? Because this differentiates into this, and this integrates back into this. So we can write it as that. Now, what's the difference between what we have done here and the problem? The, so the problem is, uh, the only difference is we don't have a 9 there. So in order to solve that problem, firstly, I'm going to move this 9 to the front using the first uh, law that we just talked about today, where we're saying that a coefficient inside the integral sign can be taken out to the front 
and it'll still be equal. So I'm going to move this to the front. So this then becomes 9 times the integral of uh, 3x plus 2 squared dx is equal to 3x plus 2 cubed plus c. All, right, all I've done is move that to the front, which is allowed. And then what we want to do is we want to somehow change the left hand side back into the problem that we have. So I'm going to multiply both the left and the right hand side by 1 over 9. So let's try that. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 over 9. So 1 over 9 times 9 times the integral of 3x plus 2 squared dx is equal to 1 over 9 times uh, 3x plus 2 cubed plus c. Okay, so what happens after we uh, do the same thing to both sides. Well, the 1 over 9 cancels out with the times by 9. So then what are we left with? We're left with the integral of 3x plus 2 squared dx is equal to 1 over 9 times uh, 3x plus 2 cubed plus c. Alright, uh, Sorry, let me just explain that a bit more because 1 over 9 times by this whole equation, uh, one, so we'll expand that. So 1 over 9 times bracket 3x plus 2 uh, to the power of 3 becomes 1 over 9 times that. 1 over 9 times c becomes 1 over 9c, which just becomes c because it's a constant. So it doesn't matter what the constant is is it's going to integrate back into this question. Okay, so let's try that to see if it works. So this is our final answer. 1 over 9 times 3x plus 2 cubed plus c. So let's differentiate this and see if we can get 3x plus 2 squared as our antiderivative. So if y is equal to uh, 1 over 9, 3x plus 2 cubed plus c can just be any constant, for example, 25, just making up that number. Doesn't, not, doesn't matter what this number is, it'll always give us uh, the same answer. So dy over dx is equal to uh, 3 times 1 over 9 bracket 3x plus 2 uh, squared times the inside di differentiated so that's times by another 3 plus 25 that's differentiated which is gone so the 25 is gone so the answer is 3 times uh, 3 times 1 over 9 times 3x plus 2 squared so uh, 3 times 3 is 9 over 9 times uh, 3x plus 2 squared. 9 over 9 becomes 1. So therefore, the answer is 3x plus 2 squared, which is uh, what we had in the beginning. right? So therefore, the answer to this problem is 1 over 9 bracket 3x plus plus 2 cubed plus c. So this is correct.